We start with a surge in violent crime. The numbers from Oakland tell the story. A city just recorded its 100th homicide. Put that into perspective, Oakland was at 70 homicides at the same point last year. And this afternoon, Oakland officers were called to another shooting. A man rushed to a hospital after gunfire near Bond and High Streets. Now, all this has city council members who voted to reduce police resources now talking about whether to add officers back to the force. KPIX 5's John Ramos explains the apparent reversal. A surge in violent crime has reopened the debate about whether or not more cops mean more safety. A man found shot to death yesterday outside the Coliseum BART station was Oakland's 100th murder victim. Today, Council Member Shang Tao introduced a proposal to add two new police academies, one this year and one next. It was a move that Mayor Libby Schaff has been advocating as the department has shrunk to 694 sworn officers, the fewest since 2014. Oakland has the lowest officer per violent crime staffing of any department in America. The council's concern is if the number of cops falls below 678, the city could lose Measure Z funding, which goes to various purposes, including firefighting and violence prevention. But some feel the city could get an exemption from that, and much of the public comment at the council meeting reflected a lack of support for the police department. I want to advocate strongly against the creation of, of extra police academies that we know do not keep us safe. We can't keep throwing our tax dollars at police. Having more police does not prevent more crime, so I'm not really sure why this would even be a viable option. But despite a rocky relationship with the police, some in the black community still see the need for them. Well, the current climate, a lot of people don't trust police, but unfortunately it is, they are people that we need because people want to feel protected. But even if the council decides to create the new academy classes, Oakland Police Officers Association President Barry Donilon says it won't be nearly enough. He says the academies take a year and a half to produce a maximum of 45 new officers. But the department is currently losing an average of 10 officers per month. He says they're not retiring, they're leaving to work someplace else. They're not valued, they're not valued by the city council. They're demonized, they're vilified. Oakland police officers seem to be blamed for all the ills in the city, yet there's so few of us. And as the city debates the value of police, the onslaught of violence continues. In Oakland, John Ramos, KPIX 5. Officials are still debating the issue at City Hall. We'll let you know what they decide.